Hey busy parents, this is Dan, your friendly fishmonger at dancefish.com and as a parent myself, I know how crazy busy family life can be. So let's say your kid wants an aquarium, but you know that after a little while their interests are going to change and you're going to end up keeping the tank and taking care of it. No matter how much they promise they're going to take care of it, you know it's going to end up being you. So I want to suggest some fish that are very simple to maintain so that you can have an aquarium and keep it even though you're really busy. So let's get started. So I guess before we get into it, we should define what is an easy aquarium and an easy fish. A couple tricks you can do to make it the easiest possible. One, only have one species of fish. That way you don't have to worry about compatibility issues. You don't have to know if this fish gets along with this fish and the other fish. If you put in the fourth, will they kill them all, right? Just get one kind of fish and get a group of them and you don't have to worry about compatibility issues, which is great. That's number one. Number two is a minimum of equipment. The more equipment you have, the more likely you are to have a piece of equipment fail, and then you have to have that awkward conversation with your kid about why the fish died. Also, the less equipment, the less maintenance you have to do, the less pieces, the less items you're taking care of, which is awfully nice. So we're looking for fish that don't need a lot of equipment, don't need fancy filters, don't need maybe don't need a heater, that's, that's number two. Number three is easy to feed. And number four is, I don't know, what's number four? I might have to edit this bit out. Oh, and number four is hardy by nature. So a fish that is hardy and is tolerant of mistakes. So that's what we're looking for when we look at these fish. So let's look at the first species that I think would be good for you as a busy parent. My number one choice for the busy parent is this. This is the white cloud mountain minnow. It's a hardy fish, so that checks that box. It doesn't need a heater. It can take very cold temperatures down. It can live under ice, and it can take temperatures up into the 80s, so it's hardy. If you have a house that's not heated, not a problem. You're not gonna have to worry about heating them. You're not gonna have to worry about maintaining a heater, and you're not going to have to worry about when the heater breaks and cooks all the fish, so that's good. Super easy to feed. These guys are an omnivore. They're not picky. They'll eat any food that you can find at the pet store. And then also, they come in a lot of varieties, which is cool. You can get these in this form. This is the natural wild type looking fish. You can get them in a gold form. You can get them in a long fin form. And you can get them in a long finned gold form, which is awesome. They're very friendly. They're not gonna hurt each other. You're not gonna have compatibility issues. So the white cloud mountain minnow, is my number one choice because it ticks all the boxes. This is my number two choice fish for the busy parent. These are Madaka rice fish, the Japanese rice fish. The reason I like them is they are also very, very hardy. They don't need a heater. They can take it from under ice on up into the 90s. And so they can take a wide, wide range of temperatures. They're colorful. These come in a lot of varieties. The one we're looking at now is called a Miyuki white. And if you look at it from the top, it's got a very bright stripe across the top. Kind of a glowing, very beautiful neon stripe. So that's why they're called Miyuki, because of that bright, bright neon stripe. But they also come in gold, they come in orange, they come in many, many different colors. So you can get a nice variety, all the same species, stock the tank, and you have a, a tank with lots of colors in it but all the fish are the same species, so they'll all get along. Or you can get a group of just these. These are my favorite. I think that these look uh, great all together by themselves. Now I want to briefly talk about a fish that you might think you want to get that would be easy, but you, that you probably shouldn't, and that's the guppy. The reason is, is guppies these days are not the same as when you and I were kids. When we were kids, we could keep them in a gallon jar without any filter or anything, and they would do just fine. No heater, they were great. But over the last few decades, they've been bred and inbred. They're bred overseas in warm climates, and they are no longer the hardy fish that you and I used to know and love. So the odds are, if you get these, you'll need a heater. You will also probably end up losing the first few you get. So it's not a great thing for a child, right? So I would discourage you from getting guppies just because I don't think they're as hardy as they used to be. That's the only reason, they're colorful, giving live birth is cool for the kids to watch, all that stuff is great, but they're just not hardy like they used to be. Now this is another fish which I think would do very well for you. 
Now, remember, we're only keeping one species in this aquarium, right? To make it as easy as possible. These are a blind fish. They come from caves. They're a troglobite. So they're called a blind cave tetra. They're very hardy. They're super active. And the fact that they don't have eyes makes them kind of alien, makes them kind of interesting for kids. And it's something that they can research to learn about adaptations and how that came about. So not only are they hardy and uh, interesting, but I think that there's a research educational aspect here that you don't find in my, most other fish. Now, they might need a little bit of a heater. So they might need a little more equipment if your house gets quite cold during the winter. Um, if your house stays in the 70s year round, great. But if it starts dipping down way cold, then you will need a heater for these species. The white cloud mountain minnows and the rice fish don't, but the rest of the fish we're gonna look at today do. But this is one that is intriguing to kids and I think really, really cool. How cool would it be for them to invite their friends over and be like, wanna see my blind cave fish? And this is another good option. These are rosy barbs. And one reason these are neat is because the males are a rosy red color and the females stay a copper bronze color, a silver color. So you can get a variety of colors with just one species of fish. You can get a group of males and females together and your kid will be like, wow, I have, I have some variety in there, right? There's some different stuff to look at. So these are very, very hardy. They can take a wide range of temperature swings, although they will need a heater if it gets terribly cold. And they're fast and active and intriguing. So I think these will tick the boxes as well. This is another good candidate for a, a fish for a busy parent. These are black phantom tetras. Now this is a tropical species. They are going to need a heater. They're not as tolerant of low temperatures as rosy barbs, blind cave tetras, and the others we looked at earlier. So that's the one difference. They will need a heater, but they're hardy. They get along together and you get two varieties in here. The dark ones that you see, those are the males coloring up and they'll get darker with age and get nice long filaments on the fins and be really stunning. The ones that are lighter in color, those are the females. So again, you get some differentiation, some, some neat stuff to look at. These eat everything. All the fish we were looking at today eat everything. Any fish food you pick up at your fish store, they'll eat without any problem, as long as it can fit in their mouths. And uh, yeah, good candidate for the busy parent, the black phantom tetra. Now the last fish we're gonna talk about today is this one. This is the red blue Colombian tetra. The reason I like these is they, they click the boxes, they're hardy, they eat everything, they get along in groups. They're also really pretty. They have an iridescent blue color on the body, nice bright red fins, and just a, a stunning fish. So a group of these are lookers. Now these are tropical as well, so these will need a heater. But with that one caveat, if you're, if you're willing to do a heater, then I think these will do just fine for you if you're super busy. So there you have it. There's some fish that I think will be easy for you to keep that are hardy, not likely to die, so your kid will be happy, eat everything, and uh, some of them are so hardy that they don't even need heaters and specialized equipment, which is awesome. Now remember, the best trick for keeping an easy aquarium is to keep a single species, a nice big group of a single species, so you don't have to deal with all the compatibility issues. You don't an end up accidentally putting a fish in there which is gonna kill all the rest of them. So that's my tips. Anyway, I've gotta go take the kids to volleyball practice. See you later.